The Neuro Rehabilitation Program addresses a lot of different conditions in the human existence, a lot of different diseases. Certainly the most common are things like stroke, spinal cord injury, traumatic brain injury, but one can find unmet neuro rehabilitation needs in things as diverse as malnutrition or dementia or uh, any uh, genetic condition that can affect the nervous system. My lab has developed a program of telerehabilitation. We use uh, home-based telehealth methods to get the person to move their arm again, achieving doses two or three dozen fold higher than what a person will achieve in the clinic. And then bring your hand to the top of your head and back up five times. How fatiguing is that for the arm? I woke up one morning and my, my right hand and my right arm felt strange and I couldn't pick up like a bottle or something out of the fridge and it would, it would fall over and I had to do it with my left hand and I didn't understand what was happening. It got easier and easier to do things. It wasn't just games. It was, there was also a man on the screen and he would do exercises and you'd have to follow him. I just feel a lot better than I was a month ago. I'm feeling back to normal and I'm happy. If I was left to my own devices, I don't think I would recover as fast. In my research, we're very interested in if, if we can develop new drugs or stem cell therapies that help the brain repair from stroke or head injury or in the expanding lesions in the brain that are vascular dementia. What we know is that, say, unlike the liver, the brain doesn't repair all that well. So what we've been really focused on is, are there signaling systems that tell the brain to lock down, to not repair, and can we overcome those with the drug? Or, from the other direction, can we turn on programs that are normally latent, not, not active in the adult brain, that will actively form new connections? Drug development in neural repair and neurovegetation is really at an exciting phase. It's clearly early. We don't have, uh, like Alzheimer's disease, with all of a sudden these new drugs and therapies coming out. But there's, we've done the hard work of identifying the biology. And one of the exciting things at UCLA is we have drug development labs here. that are just very good at taking a finding in my lab, for example, about a new brain receptor that we might target for recovery, and then developing drugs that can get into the brain that, that target that receptor. One of the points I emphasize to patients is um, life goes on and you adapt. Neuro rehab can help maximize, optimize what that life is. So my advice would be um, get the best possible care you can, get plugged in, make the best of the situation that you're in, uh, get all the conditions treated as much as possible, and um, try to put yourself in a position to make the best of what remains.